Welcome to Web Style Press. WAMP Server is web development environment that allows you to create web applications with Apache, PHP, and MySQL database. It comes with PHP MyAdmin to manage databases easily. Search for WAMP Server and you will find its website. Go to Downloads area, download WAMP Server. You can download it directly from this link. From here, WAMP Server 3. You can also click at this button to download the latest version. Or you can go here to see the files. And here is this one. So I have already downloaded it. Let's install it. I do not want to install it in C drive. Instead, I want to install it in E drive. So I will change this C to E and then click next. You can choose to install selected components for VAMP from here, like PHP version, MariaDB version, MySQL version, and so on. Or you can choose default installation. I will go with the default installation. So it created a folder here in my E drive. During installation, it may ask you to choose default web browser and text editor. You can specify your preferred web browser and code editor during installation. Finish. So this is the folder and it has got www folder. This www folder is root directory for WAMP server. This is the local host. To start WAMP server, click at start button and type WAMP. Click at it. From the taskbar, you will see this local server icon, W. And if it is green, it means WAMP is running. After you have started WAMP, open up your favorite web browser and go to localhost. This is default page for WAMP server. It's been called from this www directory, this one, index.php. If I create a folder here named as projects, and I've got a test.php file. I'm copying this in projects folder. And then from here, let me refresh this. I can see this projects folder here. So I will navigate to that projects folder. Enter. And I can see test.php here. Click edit test.php has got this php code single line php info that is being displayed in this page so our vamp server is working so to work with vamp install vamp navigate to www directory and then create project folder copy files in it and then you can access those files by using this address, localhost, project folder name, and then that file's name. Now, this is how you run PHP pages by using WAMP. But where are databases? If you go to localhost from web browser, under the tools, you will see this link, PHP My Admin. Click at this link, and it will ask for username and password. Default username is root and password is blank. You can select MySQL or MariaDB from here as well. When you will create databases, those will be listed here. You can also create more databases by clicking at this link, databases. And from here, 
you will name the database here test db and then hit this create button and this database was created now you can create table in this database and perform more operations when you are done using vamp you will have to stop its service right click vamp icon from the taskbar and then select exit once you exit vamp server this page will not work anymore refresh and this page will not show its contents anymore so this is how you install vamp use vamp and then stop vamp server Okay, I hope this video helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.